Hello booktube, my name is Sammy. Cheers! I've been seeing several videos of people doing the booktube newbie tag and I thought I would join in because a lot of the questions I thought were pretty good and also I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to introduce myself. I've been doing YouTube for about a year but not very consistently. Over the past few months I've started to become a little more consistent with my posting and a lot of that does involve books and so I still consider myself a newbie for sure. So the first question is why did you start your channel slash booktube and for me it's that I just really have seen other people create these really wonderful communities and I thought I thought that would be a fun thing for me to try. I have found it difficult to meet new friends in person and that share my similar interests and so um, my channel is mainly focused on of course books and reading um, my art. I am a painter and illustrator and so I enjoy sharing that process as well and then just like cozy soft living and also i've always wanted to join a book club but i've never been able to find one and so i thought it'd be fun to kind of create a community of people that like similar things that i like and then eventually i'd be able to start an online book club so um that's an, a goal of mine eventually <laughs> second question is what fun and unique things can i bring to youtube I'm not really sure that fun and unique are words that I would necessarily use to describe myself. I think that I can be funny, maybe, although I'm not sure other people think so, <laughs> but um, I'm, I don't know. As far as like fun and unique, I think, I think that um, what I plan to bring to YouTube is just like a cozy, soft, wholesome little space where people can feel welcome and positive and form friendships and just be a really happy little space. I also, like I said, I'm an artist, so that could be one little, I guess, unique twist to my channel is that while I will be talking about books, I'll also be sharing my art journey. So that's a fun little aspect for sure. The next question is, what are you most excited about for this channel? And I feel like it's kind of obvious. I'm most excited to make connections, make friends, and just like share in common interests of art, books, cozy living, and kind of like really appreciating the small things. So I'm just really excited to make a, a, a cozy little space where you know what one of my very favorite things to tell people about myself as like a personality trait is that my favorite word is friend and so that's what I just really want for this space is to be very friendly. Next question is why do you love reading and for me this is so easy it's the imagination part. I as an artist I feel like I can see things maybe a little bit differently like you know, noticing the lights and the shadows or the fine details and casting more of like an imaginative or creative perspective on things um, and seeing that through words or like through, you know, obviously like novels or whatever is definitely my favorite part. I think also like learning new things is really fun for me, especially whenever it's something that I um, either like a historical fiction novel where I feel like I'm learning something that actually happened or whether it's learning something and um, feeling like I get to experience something that I would not get to experience in this life, but whether that be because it's um, fictional and magical and something that, that doesn't exist, or because it's something that is way out of the realm of something that I could actually do, um, those are my favorite parts. The next question is, what book or series got you into reading? And for me, this goes way back to like elementary school. Um, I, I remember really getting into reading when I first read the Magic Treehouse books. And then also there was this series that I started reading, I think in middle school, and I think it was called the Thoroughbred series. There was like 50 books, but it was all about horses and this girl that was, I think she was like trying to be a jockey or something. And so I loved that. Um, and then there was this other series, and I forget what it was called, but it was all about animals. And um, I think it was called Animal Ark or something like that. But I loved those books because I was really into animals and um, I really, when I still do, I love animals, but um, I think that, I think those three series are probably the main ones that really got me into reading. And then as I got older, I of course loved the Twilight series, the Harry Potter series, like those really magical series really got me into it, I think, as a, an older reader as well. The next question is, what question would you ask your favorite booktubers? And for me, because I long for like that sense of connection and the, uh, you know, the sense of camaraderie or whatever with people that share the same interests as me, I know my first question would definitely be, do you want to be my friend? The next question is, what challenges of starting the YouTube channel will be the hardest for you to overcome? And like I said, I started my channel about a year ago and so um, I can already tell you my biggest challenge that I've had to overcome or like I am overcoming. Um, the first one is definitely technology. I am not the best at anything technology related. If it can go wrong, it will. 
So that has been my biggest hurdle, but I've started getting a little bit better at that. So that's been good. Um, and then balancing time management has been not a problem, but something that has definitely been more of an obstacle or like a challenge. Um, and so that's been interesting. I'd, I'd like to post a little bit more consistently. So um, I'm working at that, but um, yeah, that's definitely my biggest, my two biggest challenges, technology <laughs> and um, posting consistently. But um, I feel like I've been doing a pretty better job at that. I've been trying to post, um, I, I set myself a realistic goal and like more of like a dreamland goal. <laughs> so my realistic goal is twice a month and my dreamland goal is every week. So we'll see how it goes, but I have been doing pretty well. I had to take a little bit of a break because I released a collection of paintings. And so that took a little bit of my time away from YouTube, but um, I'm hoping to get back into posting every week. So again, a challenge, but not one I can't overcome. The next question is, when did you start reading? And I don't remember really a time when I wasn't reading. Um, my mom used to read to me every night. And um, so I always loved that. But when I started getting into reading, I think was like I said, with the Magic Treehouse books. And so that's probably like seven or eight, maybe, you know, like with all things, the time you have to dedicate to them ebbs and flows. But I feel like I've always been a reader. There have just been times in my life where I read a little bit higher of a book count than others based on like the time I've had to dedicate, but I've always really enjoyed it. And I've always really loved reading and I've always considered myself a reader and my book collection would attest to that. <laughs> but the next question I thought was a, kind of like not a weird one, but one that I didn't really resonate with, but it was where do you read? And I guess like it's just kind of a boring answer. Like normally I read in my bed or sometimes on the front porch, sometimes in my reading chair. Um, but I actually would like to start reading, like taking myself out on reading dates. So I'd like to like read in some cafes or for a picnic or things like that. So maybe it's not a weird question. Maybe it's inspiration for myself to take my to take myself on reading dates. <laughs> the next question is what do you read? And for me, I love a cozy book. I don't like it to be too cheesy, um, but just like a cozy, wholesome book. I, a lighthearted, soft, low stakes book. That's not too cheesy. So, you know, it's a balance. Those are my favorites. But I also recently as an adult have gotten into reading middle grade, which has been a little bit of a journey for me because I didn't, I don't know why. I just always thought that like those were for kids and obviously they are, but like, I always thought that writing would be, you know, like too cheesy or like too little kid-ish for me to enjoy, but that is not the case at all. I recently read um, Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend, and I loved it so much. I cannot wait to read the next book. Like it was, it was kind of like, um, it's kind of like how Harry Potter was written for kids, but adults love them. That's how I kind of feel about Nevermore. Like, I feel like if you like a low stakes story, I give middle grade books a try because there's just not going to be anything too scary in them or like too, I don't know, pointy. <laughs> I, I like, I like a soft story. <laughs> so anyways, I've been enjoying middle grade. And then also, um, I do love historical fiction and, um, fantasy and I, I do, I do love Jane Austen. So those are my main my main top, my main genres. For historical fiction, I really love Rudis of Hedys and um, Kristen Hanna, of course. And I've, I've been reading a little bit of Kate Quinn, which I, I have enjoyed her writing as well. So those are my three, my top three historical fiction authors as of late. And then Rudis of Hedys will always be number one though, for sure. And then um, for fantasy, I've been really, um, right now I'm into the um, into the Shadow and Bone series. I've read the trilogy, the duology, and now I'm on to the next duology from Lee Bardugo. So those are, those are the main, um, the main focuses at the moment. <laughs> and the last question, I think, unless I missed any, which my apologies if I did, um, but the last question I have is what does your book collection look like? And for me, it looks like a cabinet, um, which I'll show you at the end, uh, a cabinet with like books stacked in front of me. So if this is the shelf, there's a row of books, a row of books. So it's just stuffed to the brim, really. Um, I could probably make room for a couple more, a couple more books, but it's stuffed to the brim. And then I have another shelf full of my nonfiction or like books from school or things like that. But um, the main ones 
are in a cabinet that is dedicated to all books. So I'll show you at the end. And I think that's the end of the newbie tag. I'm not sure if there's like a dedicated list or like an original creator of this. I just wrote down the questions I saw other people answering. So my apologies if I've missed any or if there's somebody that I should give the credit to. I was a little bit confused by that. So if I, maybe that is what my, maybe that is my biggest um, challenge is realizing things <laughs> because sometimes I just am not realizing. So if there is a person that you know of that should be credited for this, feel free to comment below and I will be happy to tag them. Also, if there are more questions that I didn't answer that you're curious about, feel free to ask those as well. I'd love to hear from you down below and um, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Stay cozy!